today we're going to be doing my July favorites. Forgot what month it was. My July favorites. And I actually kind of was like, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to go outside of my zone and add food and like lifestyle stuff. So I have a bunch of stuff that's my favorites. Um, straight up, I love this stuff. I've been using it like nonstop craziness. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I'm just gonna go first off with these skincare favorites and my first two things are one's a body wash and this is the Butterfly Flower from Bath & Body Works. It is a discontinued product that you can sometimes get every once in a while. I get this when it's 75% off, um, like when they have their semi-annual sales online only. I've not seen it in stores, but I get, when, get it when it's online and I suck at like describing scents with this. Straight up smells like flowers, like floral. I know normally I hate, normally I hate floral scents. Like I just can't do floral scents. But this is absolutely 100% incredible. And it lingers on your skin. Like you can smell it in the shower. You can smell it when you get out of the shower. It smells so amazing and it's perfect for summer. And I have two of these. And my favorite scent of the month in the past two months I've been carrying in my purse is Victoria's Secret Pure Daydream. I normally don't carry big, like, bottles like this, but I have been just from, you know, having two different jobs. You know, I just, I keep a lot of full-size stuff in my purse now, but... Ah, uh, smells so light and fresh and yummy and good, and it's not too strong, and it says Pearl Orchid and Pink Current. And, oh my god, I love this stuff. I just, I love this stuff. It smells so amazing. And this is actually was this actually is in my project pan. Um, let me just say one thing. I have a skin condition right now, and we're not sure what's causing it. I have like little hives all over my body, and we think it's from my anxiety meds. And it literally looks like chicken pox all over my legs, and they itch like crazy. It's not on my arms right now, but it was on my arms, um, like right here on my chest, on my back, on my stomach. But I can't use like any products on my legs right now so this is from like all of June and like half of July like this started recently within the past two weeks so I haven't used like anything on my skin that other than like the butterfly flower shower gel stuff like that I don't use any lotions I just use like allergy cream and stuff like that right now just because and like I can't even like put shaving stuff on my legs because my legs are so bad like the allergic reaction is so terrible I'm not even like wearing shorts so thank goodness it hasn't been super super hot out here so Thank goodness on that one. But before, when I was wearing this, before I had all those skin problems, um, I was actually wearing the stuff from my Project Pan, which I've used a shit ton of now. And I was getting straight up compliments. Like my dad was com complimenting me, like my mom, like people from work. Um, every time I go to work, oh my god, what are you wearing? Customers come up to me, like at Arrow, I would always lotion up my legs, lotion up my arms, so that I smell for a longer period of time than just a... a body spray or perfume and this stuff honestly lasts forever and it's a carried away body butter and oh my god it smells so amazing like I love this stuff I just don't have room for it and I just don't use body butters and it's huge and it takes up a lot of space um but I've been mixing these two together when I wash my face this is um skin Dimitri James and it's an olive and enzyme cleanser and it's like a makeup remover or a mask I use it as a makeup remover just because I can't stand the smell of it like it comes out like a mustard yellow but it smells really bad like I know what it smells like, I just can't put my finger on it. It stinks. It smells so freaking bad it stinks. But it works like a, it works so well. So I use this to take off my makeup in the shower, but I mix it with this, my Sass Tomato Scrub. I mix these two together and it works so good and my skin feels so nice afterwards. So on to like lifestyle favorites. So I have been loving Lucy Hale's new album, oh my god, it came out in June, so this is anything like new new, but I have been like dying obsessed with it. Like her in like past Ashley Tisdale albums recently I've been like adoring. Um, the next thing is actually I've been loving headbands, and headbands is something I never liked, I hated wearing headbands, but I had one that matched this, no freaking clue where it went, and I have bought two of these so far because I didn't know I had one already, like I forgot what one I had, and we saw them at Arrow, so you know it's where I get them and this one's so cute it's got tribal print and we all know how much I love tribal print and then this one I thought was super cute too it's just like a lacy um flowery kind of one I thought this one was super pretty I'm gonna go on to food favorites everybody's favorite I love food if you love food 
to hit the like button. So I've been drinking a lot of water but trying to get myself to drink more water and I've been loving like stuff you could squirt in your water like grape kool-aid liquid drops, orange kool-aid liquid drops and this is my new favorite one that I found. It's mango passion fruit crystal light and I get all these at Walmart. They're like $2.99 and they last me for like ever. I just put the slightest bit in and mix it around and it's so good. It's just it's easier for me to chug something that has a little bit of flavoring in it than just chugging water so love this stuff. I've also been loving this is so weird, mini candies and these are the Starburst minis and they literally look like this. Like they legit are unwrapped. Like it says unwrapped and it's literally little tiny squares that are unwrapped and they're Starburst. So you don't have to like make a mess with the wrappers because how many times, I hope this isn't just me, how many times have you like craved Starburst but you don't want to make a mess with the wrappers or your mom's going to yell at you if you start making mess, mess with the wrappers because you hide them in the couch. And oh my god, because I don't like Oreos because they're, I don't like the chocolate cookies. I'll only eat it if it's like vanilla cookies because I really am not a big fan of chocolate. Um, these are to die for. The, the Chups Ahoy cookies with Oreo cream center. So you get the best of both worlds. If you don't like the chocolate cookie and you like the cream, well now you have the cookies and the cream. So they're still really little cookies. Because I have to show you guys what it looks like. And there's Oreo cream in the middle of a Chips Ahoy cookie. Who would have thought? First things first I'm just going to talk about is, I'm going to kind of go in order a little bit here. Um, this is the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. It's got the rice protein in it, so it like soaks up all the oil as you like rub it in. I love this stuff. This is my first bottle of it, and I've literally had it for about three years now. I only use it in the summer on super, super hot days, um, but because it's not, it's not getting too hot here, I just use it for work so that my makeup will last longer at work and I can wear like whatever foundation I want to on top. If you can get your hands on this, please do it. This is the NYX HD Concealer and I have not found a concealer I love more than this. And I feel like it's actually helping my eyes because when I take off my makeup, I feel like my eyes still look healthy and bright and like in the morning I feel like I don't need as much concealer because my eyes are just so brightened as it is and it's so hard for me because I usually have such dark circles. I so, so strongly recommend this and I will be putting it in any giveaway I do, any swap I do. You guys will be getting like two of these because these are absolutely 100% the best and I really, really just want people to go out and try this. Another thing I've been loving and I've this has been like a daily ritual routine thing. I do have a daily summer makeup routine coming up. But this is like my favorite thing and I've talked about this I think before in a previous video probably somewhere and it is the Revlon color, or Revlon, what is this, Maybelline, this is not Revlon, is it? No, <laughs> Maybelline color tattoo in Barely Beige. This exact one is not available anymore but they have like Barely Branded which I do have one of those just so I can like use as a backup. But like I've literally used the absolute crap out of this product. And I use this every single day and I can put any eyeshadow on top of it and it will literally last forever. Like I will come home, my makeup will still be in perfect tact like it was before. Um, my two, my other three eye favorites is this eyeshadow palette. I just use nonstop because it's one of my favorite go-to neutral palettes. I'm wearing it today. I'm literally obsessed with it. And it is the Pop Sugar one. We got it in an Ipsy bag and literally look at it. I've been using the absolute crap out of it. This is my favorite, favorite liquid eyeliner and I hate liquid eyeliner. Like I just can't work with it. Uh, but I've never tried a pen version. And this came in an Ipsy bag. Again, like, so I love Ipsy bag stuff. And it's the Jessie's Girl liquid eyeliner. And let me just tell you guys guys this stuff is so easy to work with it's such a precise line it's perfect it's black I just I love it and I will totally be trying to repurchase this I don't even know where you can buy Jessie's girl so if it's like expensive or drugstore I don't even know anything about this brand but if you guys know anything about where I can get a backup one oh, let me know my camera battery is gonna die go figure um, another eye product that I love and I've been using it so much it's literally like wearing off the packaging and this is the one by one volume Maybelline um, mascara and I am so obsessed I don't know if it's the brush or what it is but I use it like every single day and I have other mascaras but this is just like my go-to mascara that I just I want to go to on a daily basis I don't know why it's I'm obsessed with it it's so natural it's so it does not make my lashes like hard and like gross this stuff I really really love and I will be definitely purchasing this and this was like one of those I need mascara I want to try new ones for the moment buy I didn't even do any research on it I just bought it and I happen to love it 
last three things the first one is the sephora blush and bronzer duo and honestly i love this stuff as a blush in general i take the brush and i, I swirl it around both of them and apply it i'm not wearing it today but then i apply it and it just it gives the perfect color coverage ever for a blush like that last favorite that i'm really really excited about is this elf nail polish and i was like I, I have like so many mint nail polishes. I was going through them one day and I was like, oh, I want to try to go through all my mint nail polishes. Well, this I was like, Ugh, this is going to suck, right? And I put it on and it took forever to dry. But let me tell you, and my friend can attest to this. My friend Maddie can attest to this. It didn't chip. It didn't budge. It didn't move for like five days until I finally decided to take it off. It was five days and then I took it off because I put it on like Sunday and it was a Friday that I put it on. So six days and it honestly just did not budge. It didn't crack, didn't anything, didn't smudge. It didn't anything, it didn't chip. It was so perfect. So I don't know if it was just this color, but and it's in the color mint cream. Oh my God, I don't know if I just got a good one, but I am totally like ready to buy a bunch of them and just try them because everything I put on just chips like I did that yesterday and it, it chips so I've never found a nail polish as good as this that doesn't chip because Essie chips like crazy on me um but you also have to remember I have two retail jobs so at one I'm like opening shipment boxes peeling open plastic like I'm very rough on my hands and then my other like my job at Best Buy isn't hard like it isn't um very hard on my hands but my job at Arrow is really hard on my hands so something that doesn't chip for you chips for me like probably chips for me like crazy the fact that this didn't and lasted that long with me being so rough on my hands definitely says something so yeah well, hope you guys enjoyed my July favorites. I love you guys so much. Let me know if you like seeing the setting or if you want me to go back to being over there where there's like nothing because I used to film legit like right there where you couldn't see anything else. So let me know if you like this or that. Have a great day guys. Bye.